In this video, we'll take a look at how to install the Dell 5310N printer in the Chrome library to your computer on Windows 7. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you, you are connected to the network using a network cable or your wireless connection. The, the next thing that you need to do is determine the version of the operating system you have on your computer. For Windows 7, what you want to do is select Start, go to the control panel, go to system and security, and under the heading system you want to see the name of this computer. So this will tell us we're using Windows 7 Professional and we are currently using the 60 it's the 64-bit version. Once we know that we can go ahead and download and install the driver and this stuff is available at the following URL. If you go to www.potsdam.edu backslash patterpj backslash computer backslash computer dash faqs.html you'll have both instructions, ability to download the driver without having to go to the Dell website and of course this video is located here. So what you want to do is select Windows 7 64-bit because that's what we're actually doing and I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Let's go to saving that to our desktop just to make it easy. Now that we have that saved, let's go ahead and unzip it. And I'm going to go ahead and extract everything. And this will put everything on our desktop. So let's go ahead and open up that folder. And before we open it, we want to change one piece of information. Um, this is actually recommended by Dell to do this. But what we're going to do is take this file here before opening it. We're going to right click on it, go to properties. We're going to select compatibility from the tab. And I already have it selected because I've already run this. But you want to make sure that if, you, if this is grayed out, this option, you want to check that, run this program in compatibility mode, and you want to make sure Windows Vista Service Pack 2 is selected. So there are different options, so make sure that you select Windows Vista. And go ahead, say apply to that, and we're going to say OK. Now that we've made that selection, let's go ahead and run the application. And we can just go through the prompts. This is a piece of information you're going to want to jot down because when you actually select the printer on the network, you may or may not need this. So go ahead and write that down. C is simply the hard drive. And this will be located in Dell Drivers Con VXL. So go ahead and jot that down. Say Next. And like I said before, I already have the file, so I'm going to just overwrite what I have. Go ahead and cancel your add printer box because we're going to do that manually. And the printer wizard information gives you the, the full path that we were talking about before. So you may want to jot that down too, just to have this path here. The C being your hard drive, of course. Let's go ahead and close these windows. Now that we've installed the printer, let's go ahead and select the item on the network. So in order to do this, the best thing to do is go to Start, choose All Programs, select Accessories, and go ahead and select the Run command. And I have already set this up, but go ahead and type in backslash, backslash, printing, and say OK. It'll take it a moment, and what you need to do is find the printer on the network. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is I have my items in list view. If you go to your right hand corner, you have the ability to change your views here. So I have myself in details to make it easier for me. If you see small icons, 
or medium icons you can always change that to be whatever you want so the printer that we're looking for for the Chrome library is the CRB STDNT printer so what we want to do is select the CRB STDNT printer you can just double click that and it's going to find that printer because I already have the software installed it automatically finds it if it does not find it automatically you're going to have to locate it on your computer and what comes in handy is knowing the path that you wrote down which is actually the C colon backslash Dell slash drivers etc so that piece of information that you wrote down if you need to find it you need to browse for that location and that's all you have to do to select your printer now that we have something written we could actually go ahead and print this so I'm going to just do a control P or you can do a file print and this will bring up a dialog box and just go ahead and make sure that you select the CRB STDNT on printing. This will go to the printer in the Chrome library. I'm not going to print it, but you can go ahead and print that, and that will come out.